Yeah, maybe we do have to hit rock bottom, but what is rock bottom? I think that, that if you look at uh, addiction, what, what's rock bottom for one person might not be anywhere near bottom for somebody else. Uh, for one person, rock bottom might be, you know, that, that their spouse walks out on them and that's hitting bottom. And then, you know, they, they, they might even get back together with their spouse after three days of that and they don't use again. For another person, you know, they're still smoking through their tracheostomy hole as they're on their deathbed and they don't hit rock bottom until they're in the death process itself. So I think the question then is how do we raise bottom so that our crisis, so that there's another life on the other side of the crisis? Because I don't think we can avoid a dissolution. Something has to dissolve the story that we are in and the ossified systems that surround that story. Something has to dissolve that. If we are ready for that to happen, then we're not gonna try too hard to keep it together. We're gonna let go. And so what creates that readiness? What creates the courage to let go? I think that it is a feeling of, of safety, a feeling of love, a feeling of belonging. Um, it's it's a, a zeitgeist of compassion that whether or not you have a big voice or politically are politically engaged or have a big plan, like every single person can contribute to this field of compassion, of peace, of healing, where we can look at ourselves and be like, yeah, how much of me wants to dominate somebody and make the world better that way by triumphing over an enemy? And, 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 and maybe that's one of those stories that we can get lost in and that takes on a life of its own and that, that uh, motivates the worst atrocities all in the name of good. Like we can see where that goes. Uh, and, and so how much, how much of that is in me and, and, and how willing am I right now to choose a path of peace, to ask of those I judge, what is it actually like to be you?